All right, so we had to rearrange a few things, find some stuff, and I forgot to bring this out. Um, we also picked this up that day. It's a portable kids' cot. I actually got it for the grandkids when they spend the night, and that's not going to be resold. That's staying here, personal use, but like my money that I told you I spent, that 253 this was part of that, and this was, she wanted 15 I got it for 10 so that was $10 out of that money went to this. Plus that alligator that we're keeping was 15. So that's actually 25 out of there that we're keeping for ourselves for home use. All right, so we came upon, um, amongst all the yard sales, besides that estate sale, we came upon this big tool sale and it was their last day, last minutes, they were closing right when we left. They actually closed the gates and reopened them when we left. Same thing happened at the estate sale. So sometimes you think, hey, you're not the first ones there, first day, you're not going to get a lot. You know what? At the end, the stuff that people have overlooked that you find are they're on underneath things or bottom of things. And they're ready to deal because they want it gone. They're ready to shut down. You can get some really good deals that way. Uh, not to say they didn't have some remarkable stuff before that. They did. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we spent a whole um, $80, <clears throat> which is included in my two fifty three, dollars um, at that tool sale. Because some of the things we got, I showed you already, that little koozie. I looked that up, actually. It's not worth anything to resell, really, but we're going to keep it for the alligator. I'll wash it up, and we'll keep it in our background stuff for our, you know, videos and pictures and things. Um, and the Walt Disney 3D glasses were part of that sale. So those were just kind of thrown in with some of the major things that we got there. So you want to go ahead and pick something? Yeah, you know what? A cold beer would fit right in there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, what do you want? It's, it's a Florida a souvenir item. You know, Boggy Creek airboat rides. So that's a local thing for us. That is local. All right. Oh, here we go. Vivitar. So I found this camera. This is. Uh, I'm gonna pull it out so people can see. I'm working on it, darling. All right. That is a Vivitar camera. It's the V2000, I believe. And it's got the lens and things on it. And one of the, it's got a filter on it, which is the Hoya. Hoya UV filter um, plus other lens. The camera itself without the lenses and things would be about $50. With the filter and the lens on it, we're looking at about $75. So right there, this one package here, this one camera and accessories here, would almost bring us back everything we spent at that one tool sale. So that was good. Don't overlook these old 35 millimeter cameras. There's still they're, a market for them. They're going back to them. It, it's kind of like the, the vinyl craze that everybody went to. They they want to go back to a... Side. Oh, I'm so tempted to keep this, but I can't. <laughs> no, it needs to be resold. Okay, the next you want to do the telephone? Yeah, was uh, this lens was also there. I'm going to hold up so they see the case and everything. The case is not worth anything. I know, else. but it just kind of gives you an idea. That's what I saw first was that case. And I just knew that that kind of leather case like that was something. The top of it's damaged. But we put like some protective just baggies on here just because there was no lens caps. We wanted to kind of protect the lens a little bit more. And it's That's, set up for a tripod. Actually, so. it mounts. It can mount on a camera. It mounts yeah. on a camera. It's a camera mounting. Um, You actually could mount that onto that Vivitar. Um, it uh, is a Rex, Rexitar F, and I have no idea, I'm not a camera person, F 6.3, 400 millimeter, um, telephoto lens with the mount. It sells for about $30, just like that. I'm going to hold it straight up and down. There you go. People get a better idea. <laughs> And then that was all from what they were calling a tool sale. And they did have tons of tools, but yeah. I found the things that weren't tools because I don't know tools. I don't. There's probably still a ton of money in tools, but I just don't know them. There's a ton of money there, but they were like heavy tools for garage work and stuff like that. There's a ton of stuff that I wanted. I'm retired and I don't do that much work anymore. So I wish... <laughs> I wish I had a, a great big garage so that my, my kids could be worried about getting rid of it when I'm gone. So. <laughs> they, they cringe now because of all the stuff that I collect. 
All right, and then our last camera thing from there, but not the last thing we got there, is in Tam this tech. big case. Let's see what kind of camera we That Tamtech um, case is not worth very much, like $10, $15. But I'm just would just put it with this camcorder. Is it what kind of camcorder is it? Fuji oh, Fuji X. Fujix. Fujix eight. Here, hold it up, babe. Alright, Fuji X. Fuji X cam eight camcorder by itself is about sixty dollars. Plus all the extras that are in this spot ba yeah, bag. Which there's you know, there's some things in there's like a brand new video light and like a handheld mount thing. And the cords and batteries and battery charger, all of that in there. Um, you're looking at probably about seventy dollars for everything: the bag, the camera, and everything in it. I should easily get about seventy dollars. What about the batteries? By themselves, I didn't look up, but all the ones that I looked up that had the batteries, they have the batteries and the battery charger. We're going for the seventy. So. I don't know if you wanted to piece it out that much or just sell the whole lot for 70 bucks. Come on to look and investigate that. Yeah, sometimes piecing out is better, but you know what? We have so much inventory. I would be like, uh, just sell it for what it is. The whole thing. Could get that lot more. Okay. So that was the camera that came from that tool cell. And a few more things that came from that tool cell that I grabbed. What was it? We didn't. Oh, this That's is the handheld. Hand hand yeah. It screws on the bottom of the camera. And then the video light and the battery charger and all the cables. Dan's like all fascinated with it. He's like, oh, because he wasn't, he was in the car when I picked that up and looked at it. And I got like everything. They give me one big lot deal for 80 bucks. So I got like all the cameras plus a bunch of this other stuff you're going to see in a second. Okay. This was part of that $80 deal. It is a Magellan. GPS uh, 320, and let me go back to my page for that one. The Magellan GPS 320 sells for about $25. This and has got um, the fishing package on it. Where, uh, what are you? Yeah, 12 channel GPS navigator with nautical. Navied database and worldwide cities. This needs to be cleaned up very well. Yeah, but it's got the books, the everything in there for You're it. A little worried about that. Maybe that's just case. salt. I don't know, so okay. we'll check it out though. We'll check it out, and make sure it works. Yeah. We'll let you know if if it's not worth it. Okay. And how much? Do you, how much do you think that was going to go for? Twenty five. Twenty five. Mm hmm. So that can go in your stuff, babe. And then we have this here. This is a Garmin uh, GPS 12 personal navigation system. It's got the book, it's got the case, and it's all pretty clean in there. If you want to hold it up a little bit higher. What do you think that would sell for, Dan? Tell me what you think. Uh, resale on it? Mm -hmm. uh, $45. This was a surprise. All day long in used condition, tons of souls. $170. Wow. This is a $170 GPS. I was so excited when I looked this up and found it. It wasn't a fluke. It wasn't like a highball. And this is what it sells for used. So this is a bolo, guys. Be on the lookout for this Garmin. It's the Garmin GPS 12 handheld. So I was very excited about that one. Okay. All right. These bags right here. Let's talk about those. These also came... That's still all from that tool cell that I got all for $80. This is all the same thing. So I got this whole big bag full of the safety glasses. These are the um, aviator, I believe they are. Is that what those are? Let me find my listing for it. Here we are. A a adversary. Adversary glasses. So there were 19 in here. Brand new in the packages. 19 of these adversary glasses brand new in the package and they sell for about ten dollars a pair all day long quick sellers so i'll just pop up one listing with a quantity of 19 ten dollars each i'm gonna make 190 dollars on that one bag right there Sweet. isn't that awesome 
and quick and easy sale. I love multi quantity brand new items. Love that. And then you know, also, the there we go. Hundred and ninety. Also in that same bag were some others. That's where I found those three D Disney glasses were in that bag. Also in there were um, nice these glasses. There are six pairs of the Condor brand glasses, and these Condors sell um, for about six dollars. Or no, yeah, yeah six dollars. I was gonna say out of the package, they're they're probably going oh, wait. for about. Six, oh, there's sorry, sorry, sorry. Take that back. Bucks. There were not six pairs of these. These Condors sell for about $6. There were Crew brand that sell for $6, plus four more various brands of safety glasses and things. And they will sell a total of those four miscellaneous brands unbranded for 15 total for that. And I think, um, oh, this also came from there, right? Or no? No, that was from the estate sale. Yes, but you can show that. That um, It's coming to me anyway. Yeah, that's going to stay for you. That was from the estate sale, just for your canning. It is a, a canning uh, funnel. These came from there. And these. I'm trying to pull out what came from that estate sale. Comma NRG. This. Is that? Oh, I'm going to talk about those. Well, we're going to talk about like I tell you about. Go ahead, you tell me about them. What do you know? Uh, the NRG, uh, Creative Technology, they make a lot of products uh, for like sore feet, back of your neck, elbows, knees. Uh, I don't know, but it's kind of snake oil. But yeah. <laughs> um, but they sell. Uh, this. Uh, these the are shoes? just the shoes. I'm these guessing shoes, $40. Okay, these shoes were supposed to come with this whole electronic other stuff. It was like this whole electronic set that came with these shoes. I didn't even know to look for it. It could have been there. I didn't know what it was. I just saw brand new shoes in a box and grabbed them. And he was throwing them into the stuff. Oh, yeah, um, so it's just the shoes. If we had the whole set that came with the shoes, $75. Just for the shoes by themselves, $15. But that's still, as part of our $80, we've already way into profit for that one. So that's yours. And then another shout out for my sister, Stacy. She found these beer can koozies, koozies, or just any kind of soda can, whatever They're koozies. Coleman's, right? They are. She looked at that and she said, isn't that Coleman? I said, yeah, I think it is. I said, let's get them. So there are four of them. There's three pink and one blue. So three pink and one blue. And this set of four, what do you think, Dan? How much do you think these are going to sell for, this set of four? $50, $45. Oh, I overdid it because I was saying that because you were going high. $33. So $33 for that set of four of the Coleman koozies. I was thinking 10 bucks a piece. But they're, oh, sorry. But they are like brand new. These were never used. You can tell. They still have like the sticker barcode and everything on them. So these are awesome. So that was 33 and then I picked this up... This is going to go to you, Mary. It doesn't matter. If you want to do them, you can. I got this also for home use there. Pick we go this. through scented candles like crazy. Yes, we do. So this is Peach Preserve. Just scented candle. It's supposed to smell like peach preserves. And it's not homemade. It's a, yeah. it's a factory product. Yeah. I was thinking it's one of those... Uh, I, didn't, I don't even think I looked it up because I knew we were going to keep it. Because we just keep most candles. Yeah. I mean, I do look up expensive. some big... You yeah. go to buy them, something like this is like 10 or 12 bucks. Yeah. When it, even you, when it's on sale. Yeah, and you, we use a lot of them, so... Yeah, so that kind of was for home use. I mean, to make us feel better, I might look it up and, you know, see, but I don't think it's, you know... All right, and then also from that same sale... For that same eighty dollars. Hayes. We got these two Hanes repair manuals. They will sell for about twenty five dollars each. That particular one, that brand, I mean that brand year, these used books, twenty five dollars each all day long. That is a very collectible. I got Chevrolet GMC pickups and the model of the years. Very collectible. Apparently, people want them, need them, 
maybe their Chevrolets keep breaking down because we are a Ford family. But um, you know, hey, I don't know. But so what about this one? Both twenty five dollars each. So fifty bucks, even damaged. This one has a little bit of damage here in the cover. Even with that, twenty five dollars easy. Okay. So you're looking at fifty dollars right there just on those two manuals. And I know you like to list those, so. I think that's pretty much all we got at that tool sale. So let's look at um, the estate sale. At the estate sale, I got those Bibles, which we showed you before. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling out the other stuff that I got at the estate sale. Okay, that was it from the estate sale. So we have, let me find where I have the stuff. I don't know why I didn't do these like in order right. I don't know. Okay, got that one here. This is, you wanna hold it up, baby? They, it was, like I said, the end of the sale, so everything was half off. They had it originally marked $5, $5. so I got it for $2.50. This is a World War II Bible. It is has this metal shield on the front because it's called the heart shield. It's supposed to be bulletproof. The whole thing was is they made them and give the, gave them to the soldiers so they could have them in their pocket over their heart. And if a bullet came, it would hit this ricochet off and save their life. That was what they were for. This one is in very poor condition. If it had been in great condition, good condition, it would have been $160. Poor condition, like that, poor condition, $75 all day really? long. And I paid $2.50. So I was happy about that one, too. So I keep that. I get to no, you're not. <laughs> I got some old, uh, other uh, 1940s Bibles. Okay. So these right here, here, let's take this tape off that's holding it together. They had this pack of ashtrays. If you want to, you got them? Yeah, there's trash. I'm, well, I wanted to look at the price on there, damn it. You curled it up. <laughs> they had the four pieces for $6 originally. Half off, I got it for 3 so put that one aside, show these three. Okay, this is a nice piece of advertising for local. Okay, these all three here are from the same advertising. First Federal Savings. They are, I was thinking That's ashtrays. That's Orlando, Florida. I was thinking ashtrays when I got, but no, they're trinket dishes. Are they? Yeah, they're trinket dishes. Like they're mint dishes or and those are worth about $10 each. So say $30 for those three. It's all local advertising for yeah for Florida. So it's just basically vintage advertising trinket Orlando. trinket dishes. Like I said, ten dollars each. You could put them together in a lot for thirty dollars is what I would probably do. Um, and then we have this one here, which is different. Hold that one up, please. This one is a Christmas trinket dish. It is Howes brand. H O U Z E. That little dish by itself will sell for twenty dollars all day long. So that little, glass. I don't yeah, can't see that on there, but yeah. So that little Christmas dish. So that's a name to look out for. House H O U Z E instead of an S, like house, but with a Z. So that was like twenty dollars all day long. Um, and then that came from that estate sale. Oh, at the estate sale, I spent a total of twenty three dollars at the estate sale, and you already saw some of the great stuff. That I found. So tackle I found box. This. Now this is actually for flies. I guess they got. And other it's like things double sided. It's a little aluminum tackle box, double sided, and it shows. Just show the camera so you can see the etching on it. It's got like little fish and things etched into the top of it. I thought it was going to be worth more, but it was fifteen dollars. This is a '60s, late '60s, '70s era um, item. Like I said, it was initially for flies, and you put it on your belt. You, yeah. With the creole on the other side. Oh, that side. makes sense. Um, but yeah, I saw that was a cute little item for fifteen dollars. It'll, it'll. I didn't pay fifteen. That's what I can sell it for. Like I said, the total I paid was twenty three. So and that included the. And then again, your husband might keep, keep it. it. He's probably going to keep it. <laughs> okay. The last thing that I got from the estate sale was um, this book. And I thought it was going to be the 10 cents that was on here. But like, oh, no, no, that was like from a yard sale or something. No, but I paid $2 for it, which is fine. Um, it's going to go for, I don't know what, because I lost where I had it on here. Sorry, guys. Okay, I am, I promise I'm going to do better on putting these in order. That's my goal. She's not. I am too. 
um, Honey Bear book, $15. So even 1985. Though, yeah, even though I spent $2, I can flip it for 15, 1980s and 70s items. So great. So that's coming to my side. Okay. We got a ton of stuff left. Yes, we do. Let me start pulling it out because there's glass on there, please. Okay. 